It is time for the World Series between the Noids and the Bloomers. Now, for anybody unfamiliar with the rules of how a baseball World Series works, the first to win four games is the winner. We will alternate stadium every two games, and these are full nine-inning games. The players do have their own unique stats, and I tried to give every team like one power hitter, one super fast person, etc. Everybody's got individualized stats. All right, our bets are in. It is time for the World Series between the Noids and the Bloomers. Let's go! So we have Strawberry Procione starting for the Noids and Cece Hime starting at pitcher for the Bloomers. Play ball. The first pitch, Cece delivers a brilliant fastball. One to one count. Brace coming into this with a 414 average and 23 homers. The chant of Brace for victory is starting to rise through the crowd and easily fielded by Nanase Kai. Based bug up to bat. 412 average with 35 homers. The Babu chant is beginning. Based bug watching, not swinging at garbage. Gets a big pop fly in that looks like it will be easily fielded by Nanase Kai. And it is. Zia Zenos comes up. Ready to turn the speed on if she connects. She does broken bat, but it is caught by Pupper. Three up, three down. Pupper up, swinging at an outside curveball, 76 miles per hour. Pupper gets a piece of it, but knocks it straight back to Procione, who throws it right to Allbones Jones. Anase Kine comes up. He's had a good slugging season so far. And it looks like it's gonna be another good game for him. That looks like it's out of here, folks. No, just off the top of the wall, Kine held it second. Now Bodega Rat, one of the fastest runners here, shoots a rocket down the right-hand line. And it looks like Kine is going to score. Bodega is going to stay at second. Now ringleader Woozle, he's had great contact, but no home runs at all this season. He had a traumatic experience. Oh no, and Fielder's Choice allows Woozle to advance to first. Bizarre fielding choice by the Noids there. And an earthquake shot gets Bodega in. Woozle is going to advance all the way to third and stay there. Next up, Neapolitan. She's had a much better season. She's dodging the ball from Procione, though. It looks like it might be a deliberate bean situation. 3-2 count, one out, two on. Tan looking to respond to this heat. She strikes out swinging. Golden Kenji up looking to bring his friends home. Strike 160 miles an hour. Procione throwing fire that Kenji cannot keep up with. It's two strikes, two out, two runners on. And Kenji tagged out at first by based bug. But still a two run lead to start for the Bloomers. The Noids come up leading with All Bones Jones. Has an incredible 85 homers on the season and a 750 batting average. But can he respond to the corkscrew hit? The corkscrew pitch? He does, he blasts it anyway, right out into right field. Cece is not used to people being able to make contact with her signature pitch. Emperor Spoon comes up. Cece's rattled, not throwing that corkscrew anymore. But she's got the heat. That must have been at least 150 miles per hour. And she beans Emperor Spoon, advancing Jones to second base. Hi, my name is Chair comes up, looking to respond to the cluster. And I believe that is our first bean of the series, folks. Cece's rattled. I think it's getting in her head. Oh, that looks to be not a double play. Now, Leden Jin up to bat breaks his bat on the cluster ball from Cece. Leden Jin just can't seem to make contact and watches it go by for a third strike. That is a strikeout. Now, Aaron up to plate. Swing it. We've got the cluster ball again. Aaron gets it, gets a good piece of it. That's going gone. Home run for Aaron. Three run dinger. Look at it go. Home run. The Noids get on the board in a big way. 
Procione up to bat, gets a good piece of it actually, but it is caught. Retiring the side, the Noids now lead 3-2 in the bottom of the second. Kaji for the Bloomers is up. On the season, he's batted 420 with 69 home runs. But a routine ground out ends that. CC fouling out and caught by Zia. Butler up to bat. Gets a good piece of it, but right into the waiting glove of Based Bug. Tagged out at first. Strike. 160 miles an hour. CC is in fine form. Oh, but there's a good piece of that cluster ball. However, it is fielded handily by Emperor Spoon. And it's still a one and two count. Base Bug defending the plate and racking up the pitch count on CC. Straight to CC, straight to uh, Kaji for an easy flip play. Now, Zia wants to bolt the second she makes contact here. But I don't know if that's going to happen. We've got a bat broken twice, two splinters, and Zia's thrown out to retire the side. The Noids have phenomenal defense on display so far today, folks. Watches that one inside, one and two count. Two and two count, kind work in this count, not swinging at garbage, but struck out swinging on a fastball by Strawberry Procione. Oh and one count. Can Bodega Speed beat out the throw? It can, Bodega's safe at first base. Ringleader Woozle looking to make something happen. Bodega stealing second, easily. Can he make something happen here? Classic Boozle behavior. The crowd is not having it. He strikes out swinging. Spike looking to drive in Bodega Rat, who is in scoring position. Any infield hit even will get Bodega home with her speed, but it's a strikeout. Left on base. We are now in the top of the fourth. All Bones Jones leading off. Three and one count. Jones can be picky here if he wants. Oh, he grabs it, blasts it right through the legs of Nanase Kine. Someone check his ankles. He might not be okay. And a dub. No, not quite a double play. Spoon got to first. Jones did not get to second. And Cher right in. Oh my goodness, another double play. Look at the defensive play. Stupendous defensive play to start this series off. Tan gets a good piece of it. She sends it deep left field off the wall. That's a base hit for Neapolitan. Next up, Golden Kenji looking to make something happen here. And he does a bomb right over the infield. They're going to advance for it. I don't know what the infielders are doing, but that's a great hit. Kenji and Tan are both in scoring position as Kaji Oniyama comes up. We can already hear the Oniyama Rama chants going in the crowd. They want to see something from the big guy. It's 1-1. Oh my goodness, he blasts it out. Three run homer from Kaji Oniyama. Oniyama Rama, Oniyama Rama. Incredible hit. Ringleader Woozle comes up to bat. Can Woozle win the crowd over and finally stop being called Boozle? No, he bats directly into a double play to end the side. <laughs> the crowd is chanting Boozle. And Cece beans lead and gin immediately. Aaron up, one in scoring position. Swinging, 3-2 count, none out, one runner in scoring position. Aaron gets a good piece of it, sends it to left, but it is fielded by Neapolitan. And poor base running means it was a double play. <laughs> I don't know what the Noid are doing with their, uh, their coaching there. Goodness. <laughs> and a great shot into uh, shallow left there gets uh, Procione on base and brace back up to the top of the order. Noids are trailing by two in the top of the fifth. Great shot to far right field by Brace. That may even bring Procione to third. It does. We now have runners on second and third for based bug. Two out, the familiar chant, Babu, 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 starts up. They're hoping for victory from the bug man here. One and one count, two out, two in scoring position. He gets a piece of it. He sends a rocket to right field. That's going to score at least one runner. CZ makes it home on that one. Is now two out. Runners on first and third as Zia comes up, ready to put the gas on when she hits the ball. Zia trying to hit the corkscrew and can't do it. That's a strike. Oh, successfully stolen base, however, gives us two runners in scoring position. Zia, one and two count.
Zia does not beat out the tag though. She was so close. It's now four and five going into the bottom of the fifth. The Bloomers leading by one run. Oh, Spike with a line drive straight to Aaron. Shortstop catches it. Tan is up. She gets a good piece of it, sending it to shallow center. It looks like the shortstop. Aaron will pick it up without issue. Next, with two outs, Golden Kenji comes up, and he cuts it deep. It's going far to right. That might have the legs. No, just shy of the warning track. It is cut by Leaden Jin to retire the side. We're headed into the top of the sixth inning. All Bones Jones leading off. Gets a great shot out into short right field. Almost doesn't make it to first in time. Emperor Spoon up, one on, none out. Sneaks it right through the infield gap amazingly well. However, Spoon's progress is limited by Jones being very slow. Jones might get thrown out at third. Barely safe. Chair gets a good piece of it to shallow left. This looks good. That's two runs batted in right there for two RBIs from the bat of Hi, My Name is Chair. That's a high pop fly. With the flickering shadow, I don't know if Tan will get a handle on it, but she does. Successfully caught. We are going into the seventh inning now, folks. Lucky seven. Anything can happen here. Brace up to bat, back at the top of the order. Straight into the waiting glove of Kaji Oniyama. Based bug up to bat. Right into the glove of Bodega Rat. Thrown to Kaji Oniyama for the easy out. Zia Zenos up to bat. Can she beat out the throw? Yes, safe at first. Incredible speed. All Bones Jones up. Zia stealing. Jones crushing it. I think that's gone, folks. That's out of here. Bouncing around the walls of the dome. All Bones Jones with a two-run homer. That is gone, folks. Look at that. The Noids take an eight to five lead. Now, bottom of the seven. Lucky sevens, anything can happen. The Bloomers are up. Nana say kind at bat for the Bloomers. And he takes Neil deep right away. Looks like home run, Nana say kind starting off the inning. What a shot. It's only a two run gap, folks. Anything can happen. Now, ringleader Woozle up. He's had a great hitting record so far this season. The throw is not in time, and both Woozle and Bodega are safe due to their intensely fast base running experience. Spike hits a quake into left field. Bodega's gonna score on that, and maybe Woozle as well. Woozle's going for home, and he does. The play at the plate is too late. A double for Spike. It is a tie game, folks. Now Neapolitan with a crazy bounce. Her special technique has paid off. She drove in her first RBI of the series. And she retreats to first, safe with a base hit. Golden Kenji is up. Looking to keep things going. Oh no, there was no play there. Tan, run, what are you doing? A fielding error has resulted in a throw to first when there was no first baseman whatsoever. And Tan advances to third. Kaji Oniyama comes up looking to keep things going. And whoa, whoa, what a shot. However, a fielder's choice <laughs> was not enough to get Kaji to first. He's very slow. But the Bloomers take a 9-8 lead after the bottom of the seven. Now into the top of the ninth. If the Noids don't do something here, they will fall behind in the series. Zia Zenos, it might just be three up, three down, folks. Zia beats out the throw, however, and keeps hope alive. All Bones Jones is up with everything riding on the Bone Man with two outs. He cranks it! Stratospheric! That's out of here, folks! Two run dinger off the bat of All Bones Jones to make this a 10 to 9 game. Rattle them bones! The Bloomers trail by one going into the bottom of the ninth. One run ties and extends, two runs wins. Woozle is up, hitting off a beleaguered Roy, but drops it straight into the waiting glove of Emperor Spoon. Tan up to bat. She swings right into the double play. End of game. Off the double play ball hit by Neapolitan. The Noid take the first game in the series. What a dramatic reversal towards the end there. Let's go. Game two of the series. 
Grace up first, batting against starter Cece Hime. Whoa, Brace catches it huge. That's gone. The Brace for Victory chant starts up. A great start for the Noid. Based Bug comes up to bat against a visibly flustered Cece Hime, who's throwing far outside. And he gets a great piece of it, far to right. Stays at first. Now coming up to bat, Zia Zenos, the fastest legs in the league. She gets a good piece of it, but it's high and probably will be easily caught by left fielder Neapolitan. And it is. Corkscrew is in play. Can, chair, wait, hang back, and get a piece of it. How was that a strike? 2-1 count. Chair is objecting, and I do as well. Oh, you've swung, Chair. This one's definitely a strike. A broken bat, but still gets a piece of it. Is this a broken bat home run? A broken bat home run off of the corkscrew pitch. Hi, my name is Chair with a two-run dinger off of a broken bat. A strong first top of the inning for the Noids. The Bloomers are up, though, and they are out for blood. And strikeout to retire the side. No score for the Bloomers. But he's going to be contending with a cluster ball from CeCe. He didn't care. Oh, but it caught in an amazing catch by Spike. That must have hurt on the hand. Emperor Spoon up to bat. Broken bat. Double broken bat. But it's good. Right through the gap. It's nothing but splinters left at this point. Zia scores on that. Hi, my name is Chair is up. Trying to bring Spoon home. And... Almost does. The pitcher didn't quite field it, but it didn't matter. The second baseman was there and ready. We are going into the top of the fourth with the Noid leading 5 0. Procione at the plate. Cece aiming for a bean ball, it looks like. Wants some revenge, it looks like. Oh my goodness, fielding error. I can't believe it. Right through the legs of Kajione Ama. And that gives Brace, however, caught right there by Nanase Kine to get out of a sticky situation. Bodega Rad up to plate. Any contact and she will likely get to base. Missile! She's ready with a rocket that carries the catcher to the back wall. How will the rat with the bat fare? It's a 2-2 count. She gets a good piece of it and it's in. She's gonna run as fast as she can. She's going for third. Safe at third. Amazing triple for Bodega Rat. Now ringleader Woozle is up. He gets a good piece of it, but it's caught directly by Strawberry Procione. She jumped and caught it. Spike up, ready with a quake ball. The Bloomer's bats have just not come to life yet. Spike gets a piece of it, and the earthquake disorients the fielders enough. Bodega scores. Spike holds up at first. Golden Kenji up with one on third, one on first. Hits a bomb, stays fair, and gets the... Oh, no! He didn't have the legs. He didn't get there in time. Almost an incredible job. Zia Zenos up. Beamed. Zia beamed once again by Cece Hime. Carries it right over the bag into right field. The force on that. I think the seams of that baseball just came off. That brings Zia all the way home from first. Emperor Spoon now. Beamed. <laughs> So many beans, unfortunately. Leden Jin preparing a leaf shot for the corkscrew. Let's see how that plays out. Leden Jin did not swing, <laughs> but it was a ball. Good eye. Three, two count, two outs, two on. Leaf shot. Oh no. Caught easily by the catcher to retire the side. The Oniamarama chant is starting up in the stands. They want to see a big hit. They got one, but it was foul. Two, two count for Kaji. Huge shot! Cranked! That's out of here, folks! Oniyama Rama! Massive shot for the Bloomers! Off the bat of Kaji Oniyama. And we're gonna see Andy come in for his first batting appearance of the game. And he was immediately beamed by Strawberry Procione. <laughs> Pupper is now up. Andy on first base. Oh no! A double play! What great fielding! Bodega Rat at bat, one on, two out. She has the legs, but can she hit the ball hard enough to get Kine home? It's a big pop fly to mid-left field. 
fielded easily by Brace. The Bloomers almost had something going there. Based Bug is up, the Babu Chant has summoned him. And he cranks one. It's going, going, gone. Babu, Babu, cranked it out of the stadium. Bringing the lead to 8-2 for the Noids. Ziazenos comes up, two out, no one on. She also cranks it. I don't know if it has the legs to get out of here, though. We're back to the warning track. Caught by Neapolitan to retire the side. We are into the seventh inning stretch now. The lucky seven. Anything can happen. All Bones Jones comes up. Oh, my God, it's a massacre. That ball's never coming down. That's in the ocean, folks. Good Lord, what kind of calcium supplement does he take? The Bloomers coming into their lucky seven. Can they get their bats working and make something happen here? Golden Kenji starts off the lineup, sits back, cranks one right to the second baseman. Facebug touches the bag and records the out. Kaji is up. Everybody wants to see more Oniyamarama, and he cranks a grounder out to left field with incredible force. Eli records a great hit, but Kaji can't beat the ball out to second. Pumper is up, back to the top of the order. They hit a towering meteor shot. That's gone. They got that dog in him, and it's out of here. Two-run dinger off the bat of Pumper. Another big shot to left. Oh, no. It hit Brace right in the head. <laughs> Kine gets to second on an error. Bodega Rat is up. And she hits a rocket to left. Kine is going to make a break for home. No, he stops at third. We've got Woozle up with two runners in scoring position. And Woozle gets a successful hit to shallow right. Woozle has redeemed himself somewhat. Runners on first and third as Spike takes that. An earthquake shot disorients the opponents. Bodega scores, and Woozle successfully slides into third base. 0-2 count for Neapolitan. And she sneaks one right through the infield. Brilliant batting. She holds up at first, but one more run batted in. Runners on first and third as Golden Kenji comes back up into the lineup. And he hits a bomb explosive shot that the catcher fields for an easy out. But the gap has been closed dramatically. It is now 9-7 going into the top of the eighth. Aaron is up to bat. And Aaron catches the hell out of that ball. That's out of here, folks. Right from the top of the lineup. Blasted out. Brace up to bat. A big hit sneaks it right between Kind and Kaji. And Brace successfully makes it to second on that. Based bug comes up in the familiar Babu. Babu. Chance begin. Blasted out to right field. A rocket of a shot. Runners at first and third as Zia comes up. She hits it high. Will the base runners have the discipline to not advance? Caught by Tan. Now all Bones Jones with runners on first and third and two outs. Will he choke? No, that's out of here. Line drive, three run shot out in left field. That was still going up when it went out. Unbelievable. The Bloomers facing a six-run deficit. Lead off with Kaji. And that's some Oniyamarama, folks. He's blasted that. That's in the harbor. That's out of here. Someone alert the submarines because a depth charge is coming. So going into the top of the ninth, the Noids lead by five. Two outs. Aaron up to bat. Off a home run last time. Can Aaron do it again? No, just gets by. Spike in right field there. Brace up to bat with runners on first and third and two outs. Takes a weird bounce. The fielders are left stumped. Successful. Wow, that escaped the infield even. Runners advance to second and third. Babu. Babu. The chant begins. Base bug. Fires a rocket into right field. 0-2 oh, count. Two outs. Two runners on. One in scoring position. Zia. Big shot to left center. Does it have the gas? It might be. It might be. No. Fielded successfully by Neapolitan to retire the side. Facing a seven-run deficit. Bodega Rat takes the plate for the Bloomers and hits a rocket into left center. She advances to second base and stays there. 
Now, ringleader Woozle looking for redemption comes up and does. He fires a great shot into right field past all fielders. Bodega scores. Woozle safe at second. Spike up to bat looking for a quake shot. He gets it. Disorients all of the fielders. Woozle made Woozle's rounding home. Will he make it? He does. We have another runner on second as Tan comes up. No outs. The gap has decreased to five. Oh, no. But safe at second still. Now Golden Kenji up with a big shot. I think it's out of here, folks. Two run dinger off the bat of Golden Kenji. Now the chant has started in earnest. Oniyama Rama. Oniyama Rama. They want to see another big dinger off the bat of the spirit world's finest martial artist. Kachi is at the plate. He's knocking him foul. 0 oh, 2 with one out. Kaji looking to make it happen here. Defending the plate. Still 0 oh, 2 count. The chant is deafening. The Oniyama Rama. Another big foul shot. He's putting everything he's got into these hits. Looking to knock one out into the harbor again. Kaji. Oniyama Rama blasted that into the next next district over that's out of here folks oniyama rama look at that go it's 15 to 13 it's a two-run gap relief pitcher ira comes up to bat almost sneaks one by oh and one count one out it's a routine ground ball two outs two-run deficit as pupper comes up to the plate Rushes one, it's deep, but does it have legs? I don't know, we've got Len Jin back to the warning track, catches it to end the game, 15-13. Noids take it over the Bloomers. An amazing attempt at the comeback by the Bloomers. What a hard fought game. The Noids haven't taken the series, but they have a commanding 2-0 lead to start, so anything can happen. Play ball. So up first for the Bloomers. Pupper with a great hit to right field. They're gonna round second and nope, they're gonna return to first. Fastball, Kind does not sneak it by, almost into the double play. Pupper is thrown out, Kind advances to first successfully. Bodega up, the little grounder gets in between them. Kind running as fast as he can. Bodega running even faster, presumably hurrying him up. Bodega might get home on this. Bodega just hit inside the park. Home run, Bodega Rat. Incredible speed. Now, ringleader Woozle, one and two in the count. Gets a piece of it, knocks it foul. And that may be fieldable still. And it is. Left fielder, uh, Brace, moved down to catch that. Cleverly watching the ball, not giving in to temptation. Ooh, swings at a ground uh, ground scraping sinker there and strikes out. Retires the side. Two runs for the Bloomers to start. Zia waiting on the corkscrew pitch of CC Hime. Watching, it was a strike that retires the side. We're back to the top of the inning. The Oniyamarama is not in effect. Two, two count, multi-ball. Three, two count, two outs. And he gets a good handle on it. Deep left. Oniyama Rama is running wild today, folks. Can she knock Kaji home? 0-2 oh, count. CC is not meant for batting and struck out on a 158 mile an hour fastball. Now the Noid come up, All Bones Jones leading off. Striking at 159 mile an hour fastball from CC Hime. And a changeup got him on the inside. 0-2 oh, count to All Bones Jones. He gets a piece of it, sending it foul fast, but that keeps the count at 0-2. CeCe trying to tempt him with some outside heat, 1-2 count. Jones gets a big piece of it, sneaks it right through the infield with a grounder that looked like it tore up the grass. Emperor Spoon comes up and is beamed by CeCe Hime. Now with two on and none out, Hi My Name is Chair is up, but may... No, no double play. 3-2 count, full count here, folks. And a corkscrew pitch, something will happen. Aaron watching, not swinging. Oh, that went right over the plate. That's a strikeout if I've ever seen one. And that retires the side. He gets a good piece of it and blasts it through the gap in the infield. 
Kine is going to go for second, potentially third on this. Kine does not get greedy and stays at second. Bodega Rat is up, one out, one in scoring position with a 1-0 count. She hits a rocket straight into left center. Looks like Kine will have enough time to score on that and Bodega safely advances to second. But Woozle catches the multi-ball and drops it right in front of the uh, right fielder. Bodega scores on that base hit. Now Spike up to bat, Woozle stealing second. Spike crushes it, that's high, but does it have the legs? I think so, that's out of here folks. Home run off the bat of Spike AD, bringing home ringleader Woozle. Now Golden Kenji is up with a bomb that the catcher fields and bizarrely the second baseman throws to the first baseman. Now the Noids are back up in the bottom. Jack beamed by Cece, who is asserting her dominance over the lesser pitchers in the league. She waits and waits and waits and watches the strike go. No, the ball come in. Just, I guess, <laughs> sure, 2-0 count. Cluster ball's thrown. Zia blasts it right through the gap. Look at how fast she's going, folks. I think she's going for third on this. And she gets it. Insane triple, bringing home a uh, brace. All Bones Jones up. Oh my God, he crushes it. That's gone, folks. Alert the Navy because that's a missile coming in over the water. And Spoon strikes out swinging. Retires the side. Now with two out, Nanase Kine comes up. Oh, he gets a big part of it. That ball's going back to the ocean because Kine is a fish, whether he tells you or not. Two runs shot off the bat of Nanase Kine, trying to bring that home. Bodega Rat up, looking to keep the rally going. She gets it right between the third baseman and shortstop. She's going to run all the way to second on that. Now, ringleader Woozle back up. Batting fourth in the lineup, gets a piece of it, but it goes right to the second baseman, Based Bug, who tags him out at first. A solid two-run showing for the Bloomers. The Noids are up to bat. Chair is beamed immediately by Cece Hime, who seems very frustrated at this turn of events. Leden Jin up to bat, trying to counter the cluster ball with a leaf. That was a high shot. I don't know why he would turn that into a leaf. That turned into a disastrous double play for the Noids. A well-executed double play on the Bloomers' part. Noids get retired just like that. The Bloomers are back up to bat already. Spike with a huge hit. Spikes it out of here. Get gone. Home run, Spike AD. Look at that go. Oh my goodness, Oniyama Rama is going wild, folks. He cranked that out of the stadium. That is gone. The Noids have fallen behind 3-10 to 10 as they head into the bottom of the fifth. 1-1 one, one count to Babu as the chant begins in the audience. He catches the cluster ball with a rocket out to center field. Base Bug slides into second. He got greedy, thrown out at second to retire the side. Base Bug trying to make it happen and didn't have the legs. Bodega gets a big piece of it, sends it deep left. Is that enough? I think so. That's out of here, folks. Bodega Rat drives home a two-run dinger. The Rat with the bat. The next rat steps up to the plate. And Woozle immediately hits it straight to the glove of Based Bug. Spike steps up to the plate. Hits it deep, but caught, no, just over the head of Emperor Spoon. And Neapolitan steps up, one runner on. Looking to make something happen, she hits it deep left, but it is caught by Brace to retire the side. Oh, and one count. And Spoon is beamed by Cece, presumably for taking too big a scoop last time. Chair is up to bat with Spoon on first. Chair hits it deep to center. And Pupper is in place, catches it, and is ready to retire the side. Golden Kenji up to bat for the Bloomers. Cranks it deep. I think that's gone. That's a golden run, folks. Look at that. Out of here. That cat is out of sight. Wow, what a hit. Kaji trying to crank one. The Oniyama Rama chant is going wild. And I think he might have it. No, just off the wall in front of the bullpen. Kaji stays at first. Now Max, relief pitcher, is in. And Kaji's thrown out at second. And thrown out at first. Double play. Wow. Pupper back up to the top of the order. To get a good piece of it and sneak it right by the first baseman and second baseman. Nanase Kine back up to bat now. He's already had a dinger this game. Will he have another? No, he pops it 
high up foul that may still be fielded, and it appears it will be by based bug. Side retired. The Noids are trailing by 10 as they enter the bottom of the seven. If they're gonna get something working, they gotta do it now. Aaron up to bat. While not the highest batting average, Aaron's had a number of dingers. However, grounds out right to the base bug's glove. Or sorry, right to Nanase Kain's glove. Roy! Roy chips one out! It's going! Gone! <laughs> Off the bat of Roy! The relief pitcher! Roy's our boy, the chant goes up. Unbelievable! Bringing us back to the top of the order. Brace grounds out right to the glove of Nanase Kain. But this keeps the Noids in it. The, blooms, the Bloomers are back up. Bodegarat hitting a deep one to left field. I don't think it has the legs to get out of here, though. Yep, we've got Brace right back at the warning track to make the catch. Ringleader Woozle is up to avenge his fellow rat. And he hits a line drive directly back to Roy, who fields it capably. Spike takes it deep to left field. That's out of here, folks. Spiked out. If the Bloomers can increase this lead by even one and then hold the Noids, I think that's going to be game over. Tan with a great infield grounder. Sneaks it right by everybody. She goes for second base and gets it. Now Golden Kenji up, seeing if he can get another golden run. With two outs, one on in scoring position. It's a high bomb, but is headed straight for the glove of Emperor Spoon. And Spoon commits a fielding error. Incredibly. Kenji is advancing. Kenji's going for third. I don't think he can make it. He didn't. He got thrown out at the plate. But this drove in one more run. Zianos is up, trying to get on base to try to let All Bones Jones drive something in. She's not waiting for Jones for a home run. Zia knocks one out of here on her own. Normal girl home run. All Bones Jones comes up to bat. One out, no one on base. Jones with a meteor shot right to the waiting glove of Kaji Oniyama. Tagged out. Emperor Spoon with a big shot to left, caught by Neapolitan. And that's the game, folks. The mercy rule kicked in, giving a 15-5 win to the Bloomers. This series is not over yet, folks. How will this one go? Play ball. Pupper leading off for the Bloomers. Strike one. Strawberry Procione is back in fine form. Pupper up to bat. Strikes out. Nanase Kine up to bat. Gets a good piece of it, but right into the glove of All Bones Jones. Now Bodega trying to defend the plate and get something going for the Bloomers. It's a one and two count. Strawberry Procione could retire the side right here with no damage done. Two, two count. Bodega gets a good piece of it. It's going deep. It's to the wall, but it's off the wall. Not enough for a home run. Bodega gets to second easily. She is one of the fastest runners in the league. Woozle is trying to do everything right here, right now. Gets a solid hit. Sneaks it right through the infield gap. Runners on first and third. Woozle steals for second. Two runners in scoring position. Woozle successfully stole. So 2-2 two, two count, two outs, two runners in scoring position. Spike, swings, earthquake. Destabilizes the inner infield. And that's two runs scored. Bodega and Woozle both make it home and spike safely to second. Incredible play. Now Tan looking for something. That ball took some strange hops, but it was foul and didn't matter. And Tan strikes out swinging. The Bloomers get two runs in the first inning. Now bottom of the first, the Noids come up. Brace leading off. Ooh, Brace right into the waiting glove of Kaji Oniyama, who tags them out right at first. Based Bug is up. The familiar Babu, Babu chant is starting in the crowd. 2-2 two, two count. Based Bug is not going to swing at garbage here. 3-2 count. Missile. No one on, one out. Based Bug looking to hit a missile and does deep into right. Based Bug will hold it first. Oh, one count. Based Bug is running. Zia beamed by Cece Hime. Two on for All Bones Jones as he steps up to the plate. Jones is the most powerful hitter in the league. He can't run and he can't do much else, but he can hit like nobody's business. Jones swinging at the corkscrew again, unable to hit it. On his fourth swing though, lines straight to CeCe, who makes the play at second to throw out based bug. What a play. Three up, three down. We now join the bottom of the second spoon leading off for the Noids. Beamed immediately by CeCe Hime. Now chair. Almost also beamed by Cece Hime. 
Emperor Spoon successfully steals second. CC seems to be aiming for Chair. Chair sneaks it right through the gap between the third baseman and shortstop. That's going to bring Spoon all the way home, and Chair is going to stay at second. What a hit. Leaden Jin comes up. No outs, runner in scoring position. Pops one way up. Oh, it's a leaf. But it's counted as foul. That almost got the pitcher off guard. And struck out swinging at the cluster ball. Aaron swings too early. Swings too early again on the fourth swing. Actually chops it right out into right field. Great hit on the corkscrew. That drives in a run. How was that ruled a strike? I, I can't believe it, folks. From 35 miles an hour to 157. Strawberry Procione's control is insane. That's a strike. A broken bat strike. Two outs. Brace for Hayes comes up. <laughs> Brace just can't make contact with this Looney Tunes style pitch. But does that time, and it is fair, it stayed just to the left of the first base bag. That's going to be a huge hit. Runners advance to second and third as Base Bug comes up to the plate. The familiar Babu, Babu chant begins. He hits a rocket right to center field. And we're going to see at least one run score on that. Zia Zenos comes up to the plate. Corkscrew ball, this is a moment of truth for Zia. You've got two runners here. Zia doesn't swing, takes strike three, looking. Out, retires the side. However, the Noids have taken a 3-2 lead going into the top of the third. Kain manages some deep magic, imparts such spin on the ball that the fielder can't get it <laughs> to make logical sense. Bodega Rat looking to hit a rocket and does but foul. Kain returns to first. And Bodega strikes out swinging. Ringleader Woozle is up, looking to knock the fish man in. Strike two, two out. Kind breaks for second. One, two count. Kind successfully steals second. He probably didn't even need to slide. Two and two count. Woozle keeps it alive, but can't beat the throw to first. Now the Noids are leading off with All Bones Jones who absolutely crushes it into the scoreboard. Home run! The Noids crush it through the Jumbotron. There should be a hole there, folks. Leaden Jin up to bat. Fast ball on the inside. Beamed by Cece Hime. Aaron comes up to the plate, one on, two out. Solid grounder, but tagged out, changing the sides already. Three up, three down, just like that, folks. Now into the top of the fifth, the Bloomers trail by two. Kaji Oniyama up to bat, looking to get something moving here. Kaji's got these, got his eye on the ball. Oh, he gets a big piece of it. That's going, that's going, that's going, that's gone, baby. Oniyama Rama. Look at that one run shot out to the upper decks. Pupper up to bat, back to the top of the lineup for the Bloomers. Sneaks it right through the infield gap. Pupper is going to go for second base, and they've got it. Nope, they retreat to first, just to be safe. Nanase Kain up to bat, looking to bring Pupper back around. And a great shot right past the left fielder. Looks like we've got runners on second and third now as Bodega Rat comes up to the plate. She's made a lot happen so far, folks. Can she do more? And it's a big shot to left field, just past Brace's glove. That's two runs scored off the bat of Bodega Rat, and Bodega herself is comfortably at second base. Ringleader Woozel comes up. This gave the Bloomers a one-run lead. Woozel with a big shot. This might be it. This might be Woozel finally hitting the home run ball. No, it's caught by Leden Jin. Spike comes up, looking to keep the rally going. He gets a piece of it right through the gap in the infield. Bodega easily scores. Spike himself pulls up at first. Now Neapolitan is up to keep the rally going. She gets a big piece of it, but it's caught by Aaron at shortstop. Still, the Bloomers have taken a two-run lead going into the bottom of the fifth. Zia up to bat for the noise. Beaned immediately by Cece Hime. Zia is the most beaned player in the league. I don't know how she does it. She steals second comfortably, however. 1-1 one, one count, trying to drive Zia home. 
and he doesn't do it, but rather than going for the safe play at first, they tried to throw Zia out at third, resulting in a fielder's choice for Jones getting there. Leden Jin comes up. Leden Jin chooses the leaf shot and gets thrown out at first. I don't know what this leaf is thinking. The Oniyamarama is going wild right now. Oh my goodness, huge shot out to left. Does it have the gas to get there? Brace going all the way back to the warning track and it's out of here. Towering shot to left field. Oniyamarama is running wild. Solidifying the lead for the Bloomers, Kaji with another home run. Cece Hime up to bat. Sneaks one right by the first and second baseman. And the right fielder, for some reason, threw to second instead, maybe overestimating CC speed. Pupper up to bat, one out, one on. Big shot to right, drops just in front of the right fielder. CC makes it to second. Great hit. Nanase Kine comes up, two on, one out. Oh, and he gets a big piece of it. I think that's out of here, folks. Gone! Three run dinger off the bat of Nanase Kine, driving in both CC Hime and Pupper. Ringleader Woozle coming up, no one on, two out. Is it Woozle's turn for the long ball? It's going deep, it's going, but it is caught by Brace to end the side. Spike up to bat. They are fine, they are Falcon Jack. Spike cranks it deep left. That's gone, baby, way out of here. What a shot. Neapolitan, up. A big shot just drops in left. Successful base hit. She doesn't get greedy though and stays at first. Now Golden Kenji up looking for another golden run. And he gets a great grounder out. Right gets to second. Tan is gonna go for third. Kenji returns to first. We've got Oniyama up with two on, none out. The crowd is going nuts. Oniyama Rama, Oniyama Rama. They wanna see it. It's a deep shot to center, but not enough to get out of here. Runners on first and second. Now relief pitcher Max is in, trying to get one off of Roy. And he does get a grounder. Runners advance, Kanji gets to second. Kanji might get to third. Kanji might advance two bases at once, if you can believe it. Kanji's rounding home. Kanji's going three bases. No, Kanji holds it third. Unbelievable. Now Pupper up with a big shot out to left, caught, however, and Kaji barely, no, Kaji tagged out at third, unbelievable. Kine, however, with a big towering shot to left field, is it gonna go, it is, it's out of here, nothing fishy there, folks, that one's gone. Look at that, 15 to four, bloomers to noids, it's going wild right now. Bodega up, no one on, two out. Another huge shot! The Rats knocked it to the concession stands. Look at her go! Back to back home runs. I can't believe it, folks. Nakaboke are running this show. Woozle up, the rat with the bat. Woozle grounds out to third and cannot beat the throw to first to end the inning. She takes that one though, that's out of here folks. That's a normal home run from Zia Zenos. She's staunch in the flow, she won't let it go that easily. Now Spoon up to bat. Spoon takes it deep, but doesn't have the legs. No, back to the track. Spoon's gonna go for a double here, I think, and is safe at second. Now Chair up, looking to drive in Spoon. Sneaks it right through the gap in the infield. Spoon's rounding for home. This makes it so that it won't be a mercy rule instantly. Two outs. Aaron comes up to the plate, one on. Steps back, cranks it right to third base, thrown to first, out, and they get mercy ruled again. 16 to six, the Bloomers beat the Noids. The Noids are in trouble. It is 2-2. Two -two. We are at the CB Stadium. And leading off for the Noids is Brace. Great pitch by CeCe, just sneaks right under Brace's bat. Brace grounds out. Bodega throws to Kanji for the out. Based bug up to bat. CeCe already breaking out the corkscrew as the crowd chants, Babu. He leans back, waits, and doesn't swing. Watching strike one come through, two one count. 
Oh, he couldn't get the curveball. 2-2 two, two count. And struck out swinging on the fastball. And Zia beamed again by Cece Hime. All Bones Jones up with two outs trying to bring Zia home. Jones try as he might, gets his bat on it, crushes that corkscrew into next week. Holy crap, that's out of here, folks. Sky's the limit on that one. Two run dinger off the bat of All Bones Jones. Emperor Spoon up now. Gets one off the corkscrew, drops into shallow center. Gets right by a uh, pupper out there. And Spoon is safe at second. That was a close one. Chair is up. Two outs, one runner in scoring position. Chair takes a big shot off it. Pupper's going back towards the warning track, but makes the catch successfully, retiring the side. The Bloomers come up in the bottom of the first, facing a two-run deficit. Crocione with a lot of heat there. Pupper drops it into shallow center. Great hit. Pupper will retreat to first and hold there. No outs, one runner on. And is beamed by Procione, surprisingly. Bodega Rat comes up to bat next. Gets a piece of it, does not sneak it by. Butber thrown out at third. But Kine and Bodega are safely on base. Ringleader Woozle up to bat. Gets a piece of it. Feeds into almost a double play. Still runners at first and second. However, two out as Spike comes up, looking to do his famous quake shot. He gets a huge piece of it. Spike launching it out of here to the bleacher seats, nearly the upper deck. Three run home run off the bat of Spike AD. Now we come up to Tan looking to keep the rally going. She watches the first ball come inside, 1 0 count. Swings at 156 mile an hour fastball, 1 1. 158 mile an hour strike two. And Tan strikes out swinging at the changeup on the inside. We're now going into the bottom of the second. Golden Kenji up to bat. Watches the first ball go outside. 1-0 count. Gets a good piece of it. Blasts it right down the third base line. 0-2 count. Kaji cranks it. That's out of here, folks. Call the medic. Oniyama Rama's going nuts in the stands right now. Two-run dinger off of Kaji's bat. 0-1 count. One out as Pupper's back up. Pupper crushes it. They've got that dog in them, and it's out of here off the leash and out of the stadium. Incredible home run off Pupper's bat. Gets it right up the middle there. Kine will probably go for second and have it safely. And does, Bodega Rat comes up to bat. Now we've got a one-two count. Bodega trying to make something happen here, but can't keep up with the high heat off of Procione's glove. Now Woozle is up, one on, two out. Woozle with a big shot to right field. Is that going to be his first long ball? No, it is not. That is fielded by Leden Jin. The Bloomers have increased their lead 6-2. to two. Brace leading off for the Noids as we head into the top of the third. Retires the side. Cece coming through clutch with the corkscrew pitches. Procione appears to be feeding him garbage on purpose. Not this time, however. Spike gets a huge piece of it and hits a great quake shot. Everybody's destabilized. He's going for second on it. And he barely makes it. Now Neapolitan looking to make something happen. One runner on. Tan hits it straight up. Oh, but it looks like it's going right to the waiting glove of Emperor Spoon. 0 oh, and 1 count. One runner on, one out. Kenji gets it right up the middle of the, the infield. Gets it through that gap there. Spike scores. Kenji retreats to first. Kaji Oniyama comes up looking to bring his bro home. Oh, 158 mile an hour strike from Procione. Can Kaji keep up? He gets his bat on it, but I think that's going foul. It is. It is to the right of the pole. No! Unbelievably, it was over the bag. <laughs> I don't know about that one. And Procione's been pulled for Jack already. Cece at the bat manages to sneak it by the first second baseman and right fielder. Cece will hold at first, however. Pupber is up. Only one out. A big shot. They got that dog, but it popped straight up this time and into the waiting glove of Emperor Spoon. Two outs. Nanase Kine looking to keep it going. And another towering pop fly, but it looks like it will be easily fielded by Aaron at shortstop. Cece is running for all she's worth anyway. It is currently 9-2 going into the top of the fourth. The Noids need to get their offense working here. Spoon takes that to heart, 
cranks one deep off of CC. That's over the wall, that's out of here. Spoon to the moon, look at that go. Now Chair is coming up. Chair, the only one to hit a home run with a broken bat, is beamed by CC. Broken chair leg. Lenin Jin also beamed by CC. She is taking out her frustrations on everybody else. Relief pitcher Jack is up. Can he hit the corkscrew? I sincerely doubt it. He doesn't train with the bat. Oh, he's hopeless out there. He broke. No, he broke his bat. And man, <laughs> double broken bat swing managed to get one in. Base is loaded for Brace. Only one out. And Brace strikes out. Two outs. Not a or based bug up to bat. Doesn't get it by the glove of Nanase Kine, who catches it and tags him out at first. Bodega Rat up to bat. A towering shot. The rat with the bats done it again. Cranked out to the bleachers in left. Amazing. Now ringleader Woozle comes up. He has not recorded a home run yet, but I can feel he wants to. But that's a great grounder to right. On base, can Spike deliver another dinger and get him home? Ooh, Woozle could not beat the throw to second, and Spike couldn't beat the throw to first. Brilliant double play by the Noids on defense there. Tan up with a good shot out to left. An amazing catch by Brace. Zia leading off the Noids. Beaned instantly by Cece Hime. Zia has a unique talent for attracting the bean ball. This time catches a piece of it. Great shot right into shallow center. Zia's gonna score home from that, and Spoon is gonna try to make it to second, and does safe. 2-1 count. Chair steps back, gets a piece of it. And while the shadow of the ball is indistinct, I don't know if that will be enough to throw off Golden Kenji. It was Golden Kenji with a fielding error. We're seeing them round the bases. Bodega's just standing on third, unengaged. Unbelievable, I don't believe it, a triple on an error. Leden Jin comes up, looking to bring Chair home. Leden Jin is beamed immediately by Cece Hime. Aaron up to the plate. Leden Jin trying to steal second, and does. Runners on second and third, two runners in scoring position. Only one out as Aaron steps up. Cranks one out to shallow right. Oh, but it is caught. Incredible catch by Spike. Bless his heart, he is trying. 0-2 count. And Neil struck out, leaving two runners on base. It is 10 to five going into the bottom of the fifth as the bloomers come back up to bat. Kaji comes right up. Can the Oniyamarama continue? Oh my goodness. Towering shot to left, or blistering line drive. Runners on first and second as Cece comes up to bat. Cece gets a piece of it, but might have just dealt into a triple play potentially. Oh my goodness, very nearly a triple play. CC is safe at first, Pupper takes the base. Incredible double play to get it there. Pupper's got that dog in them though, they're putting it back to the track, it might be there off the wall. Runners on first and third, as Nanase Kine comes up to try to knock them home. Kine with a big line drive, caught by Brace to retire the side with no damage. Incredible fielding on the part of the Noids there. Now Max is on the mound. Brace takes it deep to right. Brace for victory. That's out of here, folks. Home run. Brace for haste. Bringing this game closer. 6-10. All Bones Jones up, looking to equalize further. Oh my god, that is gone. That's still rising. Holy smokes, that's out of here, folks. Two-run dinger off the bat of All Bones Jones, and suddenly this is anybody's game. Chair gets a piece of it. Right to the shortstop, Kenji throws to Kaji. No trouble there making the play at first. Ringleader Woozle steps up. Great contact hitter, but has not demonstrated much power so far. But there's that contact hitting we talked about with a great grounder to right. Gets himself on base and in position for Spike to hopefully drive him home because Woozle's got fast feet. Spike blasts it so hard it knocks over Zia Zenos at third base. Woozle's gonna slide for it. He is out. He was too slow to get there. Woozle, what were you doing? He got greedy. Tan straight to the glove of Golden Kenji to retire the side. We've got Aaron up to bat. Gets it deep. That's gone, folks. Cranked out of here. The Noids are not going quietly into that good night. It's a one-run deficit now. Now, relief pitcher Roy up to bat. Actually gets a good piece of it and drops it shallow right field. That was a great hit right past Spike, who is not prepared for it. And Spike committed an error in the field. 
Roy advances to second. Now back to the top of the order. Brace is here, one out, trying to make it happen for the Noids. Great shot, but thrown out at no. The third, Bodega won't throw it to Kine. <laughs> Unbelievably, both runners remain in the game. Base bug up, catches it big. That's going, that's going, but is it gone? I don't know, that's back to the warning track. Tan manages the catch. Zia is up, trying to make it happen, but there are two outs now. Zia's <laughs> got lightning speed on, but it doesn't matter. She can only go as fast as the runners in front of her. And fielded by Tan to retire the side. Kenji leading off. Steps back, cranks it. That's out of here, folks. Golden run. Look at that cat go. And now Kaji up. Can he get back-to-back -back home runs with his bro? No, Kaji lines out to third and cannot beat the throw to first. Kind steps into it, but cannot beat the throw. Sides retired. Going into the top of the eighth, the Noids are down by only two runs. The Bloomers enter the bottom of the eighth, up by two runs. If they can maintain their lead through the top of the ninth, they win the game and go up in the series three to two. Bodega Rat trying to beat the throw and does. Incredible speed. Ringleader Woozle coming up to try to bring her home. Pretty much any base hit will do that. No, but Woozle batted right into the double play to Kind Takaji. Direct catch and bag tagged. Unbelievable. Side retired just like that. Three up, three down. Now top of the ninth, the Noids need to make something happen. If they don't, the game will end. Bodega catches it. Ends the game. The Bloomers win 11-9. Unbelievable, the Bloomers have come from a two-game deficit to now be leading the series 3-2. to two. We are watching Game 6 of the Bloom Baseball League World Series. The Bloomers lead the series three games to two. The Noids need to tie it up if they want to force a Game 7. Brace leads off for the Noids with a great shot to right. They will stay- no! Brace is trying to run for it, they are thrown out at second! They got greedy! Three up, three down as Pupper makes the catch to end the side already. Rocciani seems to have pretty good control going on so far. Oh my goodness, Kine blasting a fastball right back, but an amazing running catch by Emperor Spoon in center field. Bodega gets up to bat, swings 158 mile an hour strike. What a fastball. And the changeup 77, 0 oh, 2 count. Bodega's swinging and missing. Struck out just like that. Three up, three down, both sides. Defensive battle is strong so far. Emperor Spoon takes the plate. CC beans him immediately. Probably remembering the home run he hit last game in the series. Chair up. Squeaks it right between the shortstop and second baseman. We're going to see both Spoon and Chair advance. Spoon's going to make it around the bases. Chair is going to make it all the way to third. An incredible triple. Can Leden Jin dab on him? as the Noids are wont to do. No, Leden Jin is beamed by Cece Hime. And right, oh, the play at the plate. So, Aaron reaches on a fielder's choice. Two outs, two runners on, one in scoring position. And it looks like a dribbler right up the infield between the second baseman and shortstop. That's gonna score at least one more run. Two runs, potentially. Even Procione managed to make it to second on that. Brace gets a good handle on it, but it's popped straight up to left field. Neapolitan is waiting there to make the catch, and does to retire the side. Noids take a 3-0 lead as we go into the bottom of the second. Two up, two down, Neapolitan comes up, avoids being beamed. Narrowly avoiding being beamed again, Tan is just fighting for her life out there. Three and one count, if she just watches one more go by, she can get on base like that. No, but she watched that one go by for a strike. Three, two count, two outs. Tan struck out by Strawberry Procione. An impressive defensive showing from the Noids. Ziazanos comes up to bat and is beamed by Cece Hime. Spoon gets a good handle on it. That's going pretty far. Is it enough to scoop out two more runs? No, it drops just shy of the wall, but it was enough to get Zia home. Chair comes up looking to drive Spoon home. Does not beat out the throw, however, and the side is retired, but the lead increases 4-0 for the Noids. Side retired just like that. 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3. Absolutely incredible. And Cece beans Leaden Jin. Aaron is ready to make a break for it, and does. I don't think they're going to make it. 
They are safe at second, just barely. Brace, two strikes now. One, two count. Massive fastball from CeCe to strike out the side. Now the Bloomers are back up to the top of their order. Pupper leading off, trying to start some offense going, but swings at the first pitch, strike one. Ball one, one, one count. Flaming fastball from Procione is faster than Pupper can react to. One, two count. Another flaming fastball comes. Ball this time, two, two count. Pupper gets a piece of it, but knocks it pretty much straight up. Procione is ready to catch it. And does, no error. Oh, but Kine blasts it right past Procione, causing her to trip and stumble. Kine going for second, Kine going for third. Is Kine gonna stay at third or go for home? Kine stays at third. Big hit for Nanase Kine. Bodega Rat comes up looking to drive Nanase Kine home, but is beamed by Strawberry Progione, maybe deliberately. Woozle is up. Bodega's making a break for second. Bodega safe at second, Kane safe at first, the first run on the board for the Bloomers. Now with two up, Spike is up looking to do a quake ball, but is too slow, 0-1 count. And he gets it, but they couldn't throw Bodega out at first and they couldn't throw anyone else out. Bases are loaded for Neapolitan. Will this be her time to shine for a grand slam? More fire from Procione and catches Tan swinging. Two outs as Golden Kenji comes up. Bases are loaded. This could be big for the Bloomers. The cat knocks it way back there. It's gone. Grand Salami. Cat can have salami as a treat. Look at that. Would you look at that? Kaji. Blasts it also to left field, that's gone! Oh my goodness, the Cat Mania, the Oniyama Rama, it's going wild right now. The Bloomers have taken the lead 6-4 on a huge rally. Going into the top of the fifth, the Noids trail, the side has been retired. 0-2 oh, count, defending the plate here. Oh, he gets a big piece of it, I think that might be gone. Get out of here, Nanase Kine with a two-run dinger to drive Pupper in. What a shot! Woozle up, hoping to record his first dinger of the season. He's been batting 500. He's a great contact hitter, but he just doesn't have the power. Procione visibly winded. 158 mile an hour fastball though. She's still got it in her. Woozle gets his bat on it, but it is caught by based bug. Spike comes up to bat and strike three in a row. Wow, good pitching by Procione to close out the side. Emperor Spoon leads off. Almost beamed again by Cece Hime. And beamed again by Cece Hime. Len Jin up. Beamed by Cece Hime. The Noids really need to start making this happen here if they want to come back. One and two count. A bizarre bounce results in the foul ball. One and two count sustains. And struck out swinging. So we've got Professor Ramsey's up to bat for the second time in the series. Who hits a big shot to left. It's a quake ball. And it's gone! Pinch hitter comes in with a three-run dinger. Ramses did it! Look at that. The Noids are not out yet, folks. But that gap has narrowed dramatically. It is now 8-7 going into the bottom of the sixth. Kaji up again after a home run. Is he going to crank two dingers back to back? Can he do it? Oniyama Rama's going wild up to the upper decks. Holy moly, two dingers in a row for Kaji Oniyama. The gap has widened seven to nine now. We are in the top of the seventh. Emperor Spoon up to bat. And Jones thrown out and Spoon thrown out. Double play to retire the side. Oh my goodness. Pupper at the bat. Oh my goodness, they've got that dog in them. That's gone, folks. Pupper took one, that one to the pound. It's out of here. Nanase Kine up, looking to keep it going. Another towering shot to center field. Is that back-to-back -back home runs? Nanase Kine with another dinger. Oh my goodness. Will Bodegarat make it three in a row? The cat with the bat is up. No, it is caught by Aaron at shortstop. Ringleader Woozle up to try to keep the rally going. Gets his bat on it, but can't beat out the throw to first. Spike up, looking to get something else added on top here. Oh my goodness, he cranks it out to left. Another dinger, three in one inning, folks. Spike cranks it to left field. They're widening the gap once again. Now Tan comes up. 
Tan sneaks it right through the infield gap. Golden Kenji up looking to replicate his earlier success. Pops it way up. He's trying too hard. And no fielding error means a change in sides. Now Len Jin up. Looking to get something going for the noise. Len Jin crushes it deep, deep. That's going, that's going. Almost gone against the wall. Tan throws to second. Almost throws out Len Jin. Aaron up to bat, looking to get something going for the Noids. And a good shot, but no, they do not beat the throw to third. Ledin Jin is thrown out. 0 oh, and 2 count, two outs, one runner on. Neil trying to keep things alive for the Noids. Hits a chopper right to center where Pupper is ready and waiting and successfully makes the play. We are going into the bottom of the eighth here. Kaji with a great grounder to center. I think Kaji will hold it first for that. No, Kaji's going for second. Kaji's trying to get an extra base hit. No, he retreats to first. 0-1 count, Kaji on first. Oh no, right into a double play. Look at that, great defense by the Noids. Oh, Kine hits it straight to the waiting glove of base bug to retire the side. Now if the Noids do not close the gap, the game will be over and the series will go to the Bloomers. And Brace grounds out into the waiting glove of Nanase Kain, who tags the back. Base bug up. The Babu chants are going strong. Line drive caught by Ira. Zia is up, trying to make something of it. With her speed, can she beat out the throw? She can. All Bones Jones comes up, looking to make it keep going. Can he crush another one out of the park? Ah, uh, no! Right to Kachi, who tags the bag. The series is over. The Bloomers win four games to two. I don't believe it, folks. They came back from a two-game deficit at the start to crush it in the end. Absolutely amazing. Congratulations to the Bloomers, who let me remind everybody who they are. So, the Bloomers are made up of Kaji Oniyama at first base, Nanase Kain at second base, Golden Kenji at shortstop, Bodega Rat at third base, Ringleader Woozle at catcher, in left field, Neapolitan, in center field, Butper, in right field, Spike AD. Pinch hitting is Andy. And our pitcher staff is Cece Hime and Kix Kinti. They did an amazing job and took the series. Congratulations, everybody. That's going to be a lot of points distributed. <laughs> like over 300,000 points <laughs> being distributed. But what a series. What a game. This is why baseball is such a fun sport. I thought, oh yeah, it'll probably take about four to six hours. <laughs> <laughs> it did not, but it was extremely fun the whole time. Thank you all again for coming, and I will see you next time. Have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye.